Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be checking Red Dead Redemption running on Xbox Series X. Now, this is obviously Xbox 360 game running in backwards compatibility, but this game has been enhanced for Xbox One and Xbox One X as well. So Xbox Series X kind of takes advantage of these enhancements as well. And really the only enhancement, actually two enhancements uh, we could actually talk about here is obviously the resolution because this game runs at 94K and it makes quite a difference. And of course, uh, loading speeds. I mean, the loading speeds are even better on Xbox One in comparison to Xbox 360 version, of course. But on a Series S and X, it will be even faster. Now, when it comes to the game, the actual gameplay, unfortunately, the game is running at 30 frames per second, which is a shame because it would actually play so much better at 60. So, and I'm sure that Xbox Series X would be more than capable of running this old game at 4K and 60 frames per second. Um, funny enough, the, this game actually plays pretty well. I mean, I know it's 30, so considering that it's 30, but um, the graphics it still looks still looks good. If you actually look at the uh, the draw distance and uh, even the number of objects over here. Um, it's quite ast astonishing um, what Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, for the most part, was actually able to pull out, uh, pull off, um, well, two generations ago, of course, right? And, um, you know, this is still a great game. Um, me, personally, if I were to compare the Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2, I would pref I prefer the second one from kind of story perspective. Gameplay is very similar, obviously, you know, World Wide West, uh, open world, big open world, you doing all kinds of uh, uh, main missions and side missions and that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a lot of shooting, you can, you can hunt. Uh, there's quite a lot of stuff to do here. Uh, also, this version offers the uh, zombie mode. Um, I forgot the full name of the zombie mode, but you can actually do it. There's obviously quite a uh, quite big map over here. So if we actually look over here, there's a couple of kind of towns and villages, and um, uh, that's um, you know it, there's quite a lot of stuff to do here, right? So you know the map is quite actually quite big. I mean, I don't remember how big of a map the second game was but it was quite big as well so obviously um it's it's one of these games like one of the classic games that deserves uh remaster i mean even uh, i mean remaster i would even say that it deserves remake uh imagine red dead redemption 1 running on red dead redemption 2 game engine right that would that would be huge and um, you know I would actually love to see one day both Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2 running at 60 frames per second on consoles like look at the environments like guys this is Xbox 360 game and uh, look how well this game still looks you know considering this is Xbox 360 game right the actual lighting uh, still looks dope uh, even the level of details, it's not too bad, to be honest with you. Look at the reflections on the water and stuff. I mean, you know, um, I didn't play that game when it originally released on Xbox 360, but I'm sure it must have been like a visual treat back then playing that game. And also that's another kind of proof that resolution actually matter. Uh, does matter because it does matter because like I mean, listen, you know, I, I've seen this game running on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 as well. Um, actually, you know what? I may actually start doing some Xbox 360 videos as well because I've got Xbox 360 uh, original one. So uh, that's actually not a bad idea. And I own quite a lot of Xbox 360 backwards compatible titles, which obviously will run on Xbox 360 original as well. So I may actually do some of these videos as well. Let me know in the comment section if you were, if you would be interested in these uh, kind of videos. Um, 
obviously we can hunt so there's you know just like in first red 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 dead redemption you've got like different guns and stuff right um there we go i think i i got something i we can skin animals and stuff right so you get skins and the meat um so you know there we go we've got i've got meat oh Oh, shit. Hey, these walls are quite um, durable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the wildlife. That, I mean, it reminds me of the Red Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 as well, where, you know, you can do some missions and that kind of stuff you are just riding the horse you know not worrying about anything anything much and then you get attacked by a bear or something like that and you know few minutes you know few, few seconds and you're dead right so you know that's the thing with these games like you never know you know the the world interaction and it just goes to show that all these world interactions were even available in the first game on xbox 360 mm. So yeah, um, you know, you can, I wonder if I can talk to this guy. <laughs> hey, he thought that I, uh, look, hey, look at this bug. Like this, this mule is actually riding this guy instead of not the other way around. I love it. Okay. I'm going to do a meme about it. <laughs> okay, that, that was cool. That was funny. <laughs> oh, actually, my son is sitting next to me. Come say hi. Um, so he's like laughing his head off as well. So he's like watching me playing this game. Say hi. Hi. So there we go. Like, did you see that a mule riding that uh, that guy, that poor bastard? There we go, that's rabbit. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do. I mean, you know, this is one of these games that you don't even have to really do anything special as and you don't even have to worry about missions and that kind of stuff, right? You can just like, you know, fool around, um, you know, uh, buy houses if I remember right and stuff. Obviously we can like go and do some uh, missions like if we where am I I'm here there's oh there's a town over here so we can actually go here and see what's going on there we can go and uh, to the general store maybe buy some stuff or sell some stuff by the way where's my house where's my horse There he is. Come on. There we go. Uh, obviously, in the uh, uh, in the bottom, you've got um, on the bottom, you've got the. Oh, you can actually pick up herbs, of course, as well. I don't know what that what that is actually, but why not? Let's let's grab it. Prickly pear. See, uh, for whatever reason, I just keep pressing the uh, left analog, and that's. Hey, that's the guy that Mule was riding on him. <laughs> He's running. Oh, okay. So, no, that's no, that's not that. It. Should we help help him? Why not? Let's let's try to help him out. He's being attacked by. Where's the other one? See, I'll help him. Just too many of those darn critters for me to handle 
stuff today. Thanks for helping me out, friend. Much obliged. No problem. It worked out. See, he even gave me some money. So yeah, I mean, you can just, you know, we can just fool around here. You know, it's one of those chill out games as well. But at the same time, like, there's some missions that you have to focus and you have to uh, uh, <clears throat> do what you've been told to do, right? I mean, there's story missions, there's some side missions and stuff. So um, yeah, I like it. Uh, so, it's Whoa, where are you going? What are you doing? Let's see that city over there. There we go. Obviously charge everywhere. Charge. <clears throat> A little town over here. I mean, look at the details. Even the, I mean, I'm, I'm actually quite surprised because the textures are quite good as well. I mean, obviously geometry is kind of like, you know, iffy. It's not really the greatest, but it holds up. I mean, everything is super sharp and looks good. I mean, hey, it's it's. If only this game had 60 frames per second support, um, that would be like a a complete game but it's not uh, i think there's a, a bunch of em emulators you can actually play at 60 now because this game never came n never ever came out on pc unfortunately so there's no like there's no way, uh, way you can play a different uh, you know other you know you know on a different system uh look at the interials Use wanted posters to begin hunting a bounty hunt target. Yeah, you can become a bounty hunter as well and, uh, you know, hunt bad guys and stuff. Like, there's so many stuff you can do. I mean, you can put, like, hundreds of hours into this game and still have some stuff to do. So, yeah. Uh, oh, I just started a story mission. Which I didn't intend to, but there we go. Like, there's some cutscene over Russia, still, right of us. course. We've been betrayed. What's happened? If there's no time, ride with us. Then we'll find the man you seek. Come. Yeah, let's ride. Come on. So yeah, you've got these obviously these missions that you know. Whoa, slow down, slow down, boy. Too many, too much horsepower. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you do so you do these missions and uh, you push the narrative um, story for, forward, which is obviously interesting. But like I said, I find um, I found Red Dead Redemption 2 better story-wise, right? I, I think that. Red Dead Redemption 2 has a better story, um, but you know, it's, I guess it depends what people like, so there we go, so guys, listen, that's the, that's the game, Red Dead Redemption, uh, running on Xbox Series X, uh, this is obviously Xbox 360 game, running backwards compatible mode, uh, 4K, 30 frames per second, I'm afraid, I mean, 4K, it's, that's a good news, but, 30 frames per second is not such a good news um, you know but you know what it's like considering it's still like one of these classic games uh, I mean you can pick this game up for like a couple of dollars uh, I guess um, it, it runs well really really well so guys that's the video thanks a lot for tuning in thanks for support really appreciate it consider subscribing for more content like this if you obviously like that kind of content and i will see you all in the next one take care